Hello, my homeschool peeps. So in today's video, I am answering the questions about grading and transcripts and record keeping for your homeschool. So I have two different websites that you can go visit that will give you not only a lot of advice about how to do the record keeping, how to fill out transcripts, how to give credit to your high schoolers, but also they have a lot of free resources that you can use. So stick around. So the very first place I'm going to take you is homeschool.com. This is a wonderful website. It's been around for over 20 years, helping homeschoolers with everything that they need. So um, if you go to homeschool, high school credit planning, they will tell you how to give your children credit in high school. Um, if you look here, it says how to choose high school courses. So it says without a four-year high school plan, you could end up cramming and stressing in the 11th and 12th grades. It says take these steps to create your high schoolers four-year plan, evaluate your goals, consider your teen's goals, Together, examine typical university requirements and objectives. Start with one subject at a time. Decide on four full credit courses in that subject area, for example, chemistry or physics within science. Arrange those four courses in increasing difficulty or with prerequisites first. Now you have your ninth grade through 12th grade homeschool plan for that subject area. Repeat with the other core subjects, math, science, social studies, and English. Choose electives for each year. Brainstorm community service ideas for high schoolers. Add specific requirements for universities that stand out. Now you have a four-year plan. And then here it talks about how to count high school credits. They have this really nice graphic right here. So one year course would be one credit. One semester course would be a half credit. So it breaks it all down for you. And it also talks about how free resources count, co-op classes count, learning an instrument counts, Bible study counts, online programs may have records automatically generated. And then the awesome thing that they have at the bottom is that they have a free guide to creating homeschool high school transcripts. So uh, if I were to click on that, It says, our free no stress guide to transcripts explains it in simple steps that will have you on your way to creating a solid, well-built transcript for your high schooler. So it breaks everything down for you, which is so amazing. So all you have to do is register to get their free download for this. You just put your name, your email, and they will send it right to you. It's a free transcript temp template, which is amazing. And then the next place that I want to take you is hslda.org, which is my go-to to place for all homeschooling legal things and just all of the paperwork things it has everything for you and so in this section it talks about assessing and grading my students work so there are three ways to evaluate your students work the first one is checklists um, the second one is rubrics and the third is letter grades and so it'll take you through each one of those ways to evaluate your students because you want to make sure that they're meeting all of your requirements and a checklist can just be listing the skills that you want your child to learn and then checking them off as you go. A rubric is a structured way to evaluate different aspects of your child learning in a particular subject or assignment. And then the letter grades are a bit more complicated than checklists and rubrics, but they can be a good choice. Um, and then there is a link to a website that, or a, an article that says four reasons to grade before high school. The thing that we want to take away from this is that there is no one way that homeschoolers can evaluate and give letter grades and evaluations to their kids. It can be your choice. But the great thing about homeschool.com and hslda.org is that they list all the different ways that you can give your kids credit or make sure that you're following all of the, uh, make sure that you're reaching all of the uh, uh, requirements that your child would need to graduate or to get into a university or any of that. And then they also give you free resources to use on your own. So the first thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is look at your state's requirements for grades and assessments and um, 
and test scores and all of that because there are some states that are going to say this is exactly what we require of you and then there will be other states like mine that are like we don't require anything of you but at the same time for me even though in my state of Illinois I don't have to submit any paperwork to our school district I still have to be thinking about these things to graduate my kids and if they go on to university or anything like transcripts are just a must even if they don't go to higher education so I I need to know these things as well. Making sure that you are looking at everything that your child is learning. A lot of the times it might not be workbook things. It will be co-op things or it will be like they had listed. If they learn through free resources like books or videos online or if they do a lot of extracurricular things like sports or playing an instrument or being on a debate team, all of those things count and you want to make sure that you include them. So I'm going to leave the links for both of these websites in the description. They have lots of other articles on these sites. It will walk you through step by step about grading and assessing and transcripts and giving credit. All of those things will be listed on both of these websites. So it should answer all of your questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.